Howdy folks, Josh Mason from the Detox Dudes here. You wouldn't believe what I had to do to make this video happen. It's windy out right now. I don't have a studio to film in. I had to staple gun this cardboard to the balcony in order to protect the wind. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So this video is a video that you may still hear a little bit of wind and I do apologize. It's the best I can do, but I gotta get this video out on YouTube, okay? I searched far and wide for a good comparison video of the Bellicon versus the Cellar Sizer, the Rebounder Trampolines. Rebounder Trampolines are an amazing tool to flush the lymphatic system, to get the blood flow moving to your body, to work out small tissues and muscles in the system that don't normally get uh, exercise to flush toxins it's it's essential honestly during covid quarantine it's essential okay and i spent so many hours maybe a hundred plus hours researching the difference between these two top rebounders and i couldn't find significant different differences or i couldn't find someone like who just gave it to me straight like what are the differences between these rebounders there was these all elaborate concepts on the blog posts and then the videos that i saw were like from 15 years old on shot on like a casio watch or something that were like i like the bellicon better i like the seller sizer better and then it was like i mean maybe the the most intellectual comparison i saw was like I like this one and I was just like oh my god I need to like educate people on, on which one to buy and why so uh, that's what this video is for this video is to save any of you who are googling or youtubing this subject a hundred hours of research all right let's get to it all right guys so once again I apologize for the wind I really do this is the best I can do this is a seller sizer you can obviously hear that the springs make a noise. You can put WD-40 or oil, vegetable oil on the springs and it does go away for a month or two. Eventually it comes back. This is $480 for this rebounder and it's steel springs versus the Bellicon, which is bungee. Again, this is the seller sizer. I jumped on this for about five months and after a couple of months, I started to have lower back pain, okay? Lower back pain that I had from an injury years ago that kept coming back when I would use the seller sizer vigorously. Every time I did anything except for the basic health bounce, which is like this, landing on your heels, gets the lymph flowing. Imagine like having water in a water bottle and shaking it vigorously up and down. You clean the bottle and you clean the water too, in, in, in a way. You know, you, you move fluid that way, right? So anything other than this health bounce, when I started to do more intense things or jump higher, I would get lower back pain because it's a harder bounce. It's a much harder bounce the seller size is, okay? It's, it's, it's at the bottom of the hit, it's more pressure and more torque, if you will, and feels more, um, it feels difficult on the body, okay? So I noticed that my neck would hurt if I did this early in the morning or if I had a stiff neck. It's like jolting for the spine in a way. Now again, the standard bounce just like this, you'll be okay. But once you start doing more complex things, if you have an injury or if your spine is sensitive, the seller sizer is going to exacerbate it. Now, moving to the Bellicon, which is bungee based, which by the way, I can never jump from the Bellicon to the seller sizer. I'm always like scared because it's like hard versus jumping from the seller sizer to the Bellicon is like a joy, right? Because the Bellicon, as you can see, first of all, it shoots you up higher. But what it also does is it's very soft. It's very soft on the joints, on the spine. You can jump really, really high. And it doesn't irritate, for me, my lower back. Which again, after months on this, I noticed that I had to stop doing it so intensely and I had to take breaks when I was in pain. Versus the Bellicon, which I've had for a month now, I could easily do it even if my back is very, very sore. Okay, so it's bungee based versus steel spring based. Now, 
The benefits of the steel springs are that they're gonna last forever. The downside is that they make this crappy noise and they're rough on the body. The bungee, from what I learned, can expire at some point based on how many jumps it can go. You may need to replace the bungees. I'm not sure, I think a couple years, but I'm honestly, I didn't get a clear answer on that. But this jump is so superior to this jump in terms of joy, <laughs> fun, in terms of how high you can go, how easy it is on the body, how, in my opinion, how effective it is, the actual exercise. Um, that even if I had to replace these bungees every couple years, it would still be worth it. Now, Felicon is about $800, $900. You can even get some that are like $1,200, custom made with all different specs. This is 480. So we're talking about an extra three, $400 for the Bellicon versus the seller sizer. Is it worth it? Absolutely, absolutely. I will never jump on a seller sizer again. It is a good technology. It is good machine, good equipment. It gets the job done. It's essential for quarantine to have a rebounder in general. But if we're talking about the top two models in the world here, which we are, it's like, it's like a Honda, not even a Honda. It's like a, I don't know, an old beat up <laughs> Volkswagen Jetta versus a Cadillac. It is gonna get you from A to B. It is efficient. It is important. If you, you'd much rather have this than nothing, but if you were gonna have one or the other, definitely spend the extra money on the Bellicon it is far, far superior. My body loves this thing. I can use it any time. So much joy and again, no stress on the ligaments and the joints and the discs like I had felt from this machine here. If the only way the seller sizer is gonna be the right move is if all you're gonna do is a simple health bounce like this, 10 minutes a day, you're not gonna do much more than this and you're on a budget, and you have no injuries. If that's you, you're on a tight budget, no injuries, and you just wanna do the most basic lymph drainage, this one's gonna do the job. If you wanna have fun, if you wanna do some weird stuff, and spins, and jumps, and boom, 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 all kinds of weird things that I'm still learning, I don't really know what I'm doing, I just have fun with it, and I get a workout at the same time, this is, this is it. If you have an injury, this is it. Again, the only way this is the choice is if you are on a very tight budget, don't have any injuries, spine is healthy, neck is healthy, and you're gonna do very basic stuff. Could also, I'm sure, with no injuries, do some more advanced stuff and be okay. But in my opinion, this Bellicon is the Cadillac. This is the real deal. I'll never go back to jumping on that. Way, way, way better, superior technology in my opinion. And uh, during quarantine, this is an essential, essential workout, guys, because we're stagnant. Gotta keep your blood flowing, you keep your sweat. Sometimes I do it in the hot sun with a winter coat on and a beanie just to get a good sweat, like a sauna rebounder. So, um, uh, not to do on a full stomach, always empty stomach, always land on your heels and uh, check out, you know, instructional tutorial videos for more. This is just a comparison video. Again, this is a good machine, the Seller Sizer. It, 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 I've recommended it to a lot of people before I jumped on the Bellicon and, you know, fear not, you still have a good machine. But if you want to get the Cadillac and upgrade one day, highly recommend it. I wish I went with this one first, though I wouldn't have had this amazing video and I wouldn't have had all of this knowledge now that apparently no one else on the internet has. <laughs> all right, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Those hazy you days I do remember We were running still Had the whole world at our feet Watching seasons change